On July 14, 2004, um, we had our twin sons prematurely um, here at Kapiolani. Uh, there were 26 weeks gestation, which made them about 14 weeks early. I remember delivering Kainoa first. When Kainoa came out, I could feel Kapono move up instead of coming down. So they decided to do a C-section. So you had one child naturally, one child via C-section. Kapono had a disease process occur to him, which is called an intestinal perforation. It's fatal in more than half the babies that it happens to. You don't know which child to sit by, which child to be by, spend an hour here, an hour there, or we would switch off if we were both, both were there. But every time I see Kapono, I would stay with him a little bit more longer than Kainoa because he was the more sick one. Kapono, every time you try to talk to him, his numbers would always go up. And Kainoa, he was his own world already. He was like, he didn't want to look at us, he just covered his face. And, oh, you're my dad, you're my, oh, you know. The easiest way for people who haven't been in the unit to understand is it's a roller coaster. You can go from having a good day to just, not, I mean, just feeling like you just jumped off a building. It's just hard. The process of uh, watching a baby get worse and um, seeing that we're losing the battle, we see that we're just not getting there. We see that we're heading in the wrong direction and we keep trying. It's not about us anymore, and we have to agree that he, he fought all he could fight. So we told Dr. Neil, the minute that you cannot guarantee us that he's not suffering, just stop already, because it's not fair to him. So September 14th, which is exactly two months to the day that they were born, um, we got the call. They just said, we cannot, this is time already, we cannot do anything further and they had to roll Kainoa around the wall to be with Kopono. And the nurses, they were just awesome. And they gave us whatever time we needed to be together as a family. So that I appreciate so much. And we personally think our, that Kopono um, gave whatever he had left to his brother because from that day on, um, Kainoa just improved. And I mean, just, complete turnaround. Kainoa is doing great now. Um, he just has his asthma that he has to deal with. And then he has some speech delay. But it's nothing we cannot handle. From where we came to where we are now, nobody believes us that he was two pounds. Nobody believes that, you know, we almost lost him. Some people think like, oh, I'm so sorry. But no, we're not sorry because if it wasn't for Kapiolani, we wouldn't have had those two months. It would have ended the day he was born. So we appreciate everything, every moment that we did have with him. <laughs>